What is up, Capricorn? Thank you for being here. Hope you all are doing well. Let's get it, Capricorn. Let's see what is coming towards you in love. Please keep an open mind. These readings are general. Okay, so this will resonate for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. flirt and very soon so some freak could be flirting with you very soon okay or they plan to um you know make you smile a little bit <laughs> all right what do we have for Capricorn in love what's coming I do sense someone is coming in quickly and very soon okay Coming to Capricorn in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. So Capricorn, you're coming out of some kind of separation. Okay. There may have been some hurt in between, you know, in this connection. Uh, or maybe someone is just coming out of some kind of healing period here. Okay, let's come to Capricorn in love. Tell me more. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So that is you, Taurus, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with any of those signs. And it's crazy because your last week was talking about someone that wasn't showing you how they felt or they just weren't acting like they cared or some shit like that. So I'm getting that this freak learned the hard way. Okay, because you have the Eight of Cups reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm hearing somebody could be connecting with a Leo or another Earth sign. Okay. Also getting Aries, but you have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this freak, for some of you, they were emotionally unavailable. You know, somebody was emotionally unavailable or they just took the other person for granted. They didn't know what they had, some of them. They walked away only to only to get chewed up out there. Okay. So now they're returning. Someone's coming back to a situation that they abandoned. Okay. Now they want to work on it. I feel like now they're putting effort in for you, Capricorn. Some of you I'm hearing this freak even left you for somebody else, for some of you, not all of you. Um, and then they've seen shit didn't go well over there, and now they're back. I think this person, um, some of you could have children with them, okay? Or you were with this person for some time. You have Justice Libra energy. So I do think this freak is coming in trying to do right. That's what they're trying to do. Uh, this person wants a fresh start with the Fool here, Aries energy. Um, they really want a brand new fresh start with you. Eight of Wands. I see them definitely, you know, coming towards you real passionately. All right. I feel like this person's ready to put in the work for you to get you back or to just win you over overall. They're ready to step up, honey. They're ready to do all that it takes, you know, uh, to treat you right, love you right, Capricorn, um, somebody. And it feels like this freak is going to be coming in with some clarity. Like, they're going to be coming in with some answers or something like that. And if they walk away from you, you never knew why or whatever. Some of them, they did walk away because I feel like this person was just running away. They were uh, maybe emotionally unavailable, okay? Um, but this person's coming in having a real honest conversation with you. And some of you, I'm also getting some kind of apology. You have the will of fortune. For some of you, man, you thought this freak would never change. Okay, but now they're going to tell you, look, I've changed and, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to have a future with you. I'm ready to do whatever needs to be done so we can get back on track um, or something like that. Okay, I feel like this person wants to invest in you. They just want to show you, not only tell you that they care. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this freak disrespected you. Okay, or this person didn't treat you well. They abused your love, took you for granted. Okay, 
friends of you, maybe it's not that deep. Maybe this person had to just heal their own problems from their past relationships or their childhood traumas because the Empress Reverse could signal like deep-seated issues that got in the way of this connection, okay? Eight of Cups Reverse, the Capricorn in Love. Yeah, some, some fate is definitely returning here. You got the Lovers, the Eight of Wands. Could be a Gemini as well. Um, Leo is here. I heard this part. You know I'm hearing that song by, damn, what's his name? He's like, I came back to let you know. Got a thing for you and I can't let go. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Mm. Yeah, this, per this person still has a thing for you. Some of you I'm getting this is um, uh, like a newer person, but you guys have been in a separation. They didn't treat you well or they just were being disconnected from their feelings. They had to heal and, and do what they had to do, honey, okay? But now it feels like they are ready. I feel like someone's ready to take a plunge or ready to take a risk. They're ready to just do this with you and give this a fair chance um, if that is your situation. Yep. It feels like there were some things this freak wasn't acknowledging or some things that, that was left unsaid um, that they were being kind of oblivious to you, to their behavior or whatever, or just being deceptive in all in general for some of you. Um, <clears throat> Capricorn, I feel like this freak knows it's going to take a lot of convincing. They know it's going to have to, it's going to take a lot of proving like to get you back. Okay. And I feel like it's, it's what they're willing to do to show you that they really do care and they love you and they want to be with you. Six of cups, the star strength could be a Leo. I feel like this person doesn't want you to give up on them. They want you and them to finish what you guys have. You know, they miss what you guys have. Yeah, this person wants to love you right now. Two of Cups. Three of Swords reverse. This person, I don't know what causes Three of Swords is different for all of you. But just know, they, I mean, this is what they're looking for. A new beginning with you and love. And they're offering you something real and stable this time around. Okay? This person's not coming in uh, to play no games or anything like that. Um, and even if this person was playing games before, they were non-committal or they were doing that because they were really emotional available. That's really what it was. Okay? Love for Capricorn was coming. Heartbreak, yeah, this freak um, really broke your heart, you know, with their behavior. They just they disappointed you. And now this freak has regret. Okay. Some of you I'm hearing they used to drink or smoke too much and they lost their mind on you. And I'm hearing that they went to rehab to get their, you know, their crap together. And now they want to work on it. They want to reconcile. Toxic relationship. It was toxic with you and this person. I'm telling you, this person is ready to start over. You have the uh, text message card. They want to start over with you. They're taking a leap. Um, and they hope that you will take a leap with them. <laughs> That's what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so who is this person for Capricorn, please? Who is this person for Capricorn? We have Scorpio. Pisces. Someone rising or Venus, Pisces again. Uh, Sagittarius. Libra. Can I have one more for Capricorn? Who is this person for Capricorn? And Virgo. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. Let's get some channel messages, see what this person wants to say. No one else has this effect on me. Oh, every time I'm doing a video, like a noxious dog. They're saying that they know your worth. Some of you, it took them walking away from you to know what was out there, to know your worth, okay? To appreciate you. He or she doesn't deserve you. I do feel like for some of you, you got to the point to where you felt like this freak didn't deserve you and maybe you were the one to walk away. But they're coming back. 
with you is where my heart belongs. Some of you here, they really hurt you by leaving you for someone else. <clears throat> they were projecting a lot of their insecurities and stuff like that onto you. Some of you, they were mad at you for shit that they did. But they're saying they're ready when you are, when you're ready to forgive them, if you could, you know. Some of you, I'm hearing that you've moved on from this freak. I'm not going to lie, okay? And you don't want to visit this at all with them. At all. Yeah, some of you, I'm a liar in the reverse. Okay? Oh, some of you, this freak was involved with their ex. But now they're saying they don't want anyone else but you. Third party, but I don't even want them. Speaking to you through music. Will you reject me? Some of you, this freak. I'm hearing they went back to someone else. They're trying not to stalk you. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, guys. Whatever this person did, I feel like they want to. They just want you to give them a brand new spanking. Brand spanking new beginning. Okay. Right? That's literally what they want. Okay. But it's going to be up to you if that's what you want to revisit or not. Okay. How does Capricorn feel about this person or the situation? How does Capricorn feel about this person and the situation? Or the person who got hurt? Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn, this person could come back when you're already dating somebody else or when you're already in a relationship. Yeah, some of you I'm hearing you've moved on from this freak. Okay, and you have somebody else in your life or something. Okay. So some of you, you're not interested or you might just put them in the friend zone. You have way too many threes here. Yeah, some of you already have somebody else that you're involved with or you will be involved with. And I feel like that's telling you like, hell no, I don't want the past. I don't want this freak. You hurt me. You're an asshole. Um, for some of you, it could be that maybe you suspect this person's third party is still around. And I'm not going to lie, for some of you, they could potentially still be around, especially if this person's married. So I feel like you're going to continue to turn your back from this person. And you might just cut this freak off. I feel like you might cut this person off because overall, I do feel like this is someone that you're probably just going to say no to, though. Because I feel like I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I feel like you have somebody else in mind, Capricorn. Like, you have somebody else. And maybe you feel like this person, look, you know, you snooze, you lose, you hurt me, it's over. I'm, I've already moved on. I have someone else. Maybe you might engage in like a little flirting with this person. But after that, I feel like you're just not taking this person serious. Okay. Now they want to show you that they care. <clears throat> okay. So, um, thank you Capricorn for being here with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading and talk to you guys soon.